Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of What Version Should You Buy? Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So this one might be a little bit confusing because we're going to be talking about current gen PS4, Xbox One, and we're going to be talking about next gen PS5, Xbox Series X. So I'm going to explain a couple of different things, and we're going to go over the different versions of the game that you can buy. Some of them are backwards compatible. Some of them give you flat out better versions of the game later whenever the next gen consoles release so stick with me here as we kind of go over this but first things first i'm going to talk about a little bit of the details of this game so it does come out november 13th this year however the next gen versions the ps5 versions and the xbox series x versions are going to be releasing later this year we think somewhere around the time when the next gen consoles are probably going to release however we don't know when the next gen consoles release so that might be why they don't quite have a release date on here it does say on certain websites like gamestop it releases you know december 31st that's just a placeholder name whatever as a police order day i guess you could say that's just there because they don't quite know what it's going to be so they just put the latest date on there instead of giving you a earlier date which wouldn't make any sense but something to keep in mind is that the next gen versions of these games are going to be 70 dollars stand alone so keep that in mind but don't buy these versions of the game just yet if you plan on getting call of duty black ops cold war on current gen don't go buy these 70 dollars versions for next gen because there is a version of the game that will allow you to get the next gen version while also buying the current gen version at the same time but let's move on over and explain what i quite mean about that but let's go over what the standard version of call of duty black ops cold war does regards to pre-orders and the beta everything else all the nice juicy collectible dlc kind of stuff before you get the game so here you can move on down this is the description and of course the exclusivity deal with ps4 you get early access to the open beta on ps4 um, first on the ps4 i'm not sure if it's going to be a beta weekend where ps4 gets it and then next weekend it's xbox and ps4 or if it's just exclusive just to xbox more than likely what's going to be is there's going to be a beta weekend for ps4 it'd probably be, you know an actually just like friday saturday sunday maybe it might roll into monday sometimes they do something like that and then next weekend it'll be xbox and ps4 or xbox ps4 pc it'll be everybody able to play it then but also for getting this game and buying it early the pre-order you also get a, the operator frank woods and assault rifle blueprint immediate use on call of duty um, modern warfare and call of duty warzone so you can use it in call of duty modern warfare as multiplayer but you also can use it in warzone because warzone is free so if you buy this you could get the um, frank woods and assault rifle pack for that so what the standard version does the ps4 standard version of this game and the xbox one version what it's going to do is it's going to give you the ps4 version of the game obviously but it will also give you the playstation 5 backwards compatible um download once you get your ps5 or xbox series x what you will get is you will get a download that will allow you to download the last gen version or this current gen version so you'll get your ps4 version of the game on your ps5 and this game has uh, cross progression, um, cross play, everything else. So your progression will continue with you. All that will be happening is you'll be jumping to your PS5 with your PS4 version of the game. So keep in mind, you're on your PS5 with your PS4 version of the game. You're not having the PlayStation 5 version of this game. You only paid $60 and you only have the PS4 version of the game. And you also get the confrontation weapons pack which i'm not 100 sure what that is we don't quite know what that is exactly and this also falls in line with xbox if you buy the xbox one version of the game you're playing the xbox one version of the game via backwards compatibility on the xbox series x you're not getting the next gen version when you buy this game moving on over now to the 70 dollars version the cody black ops cross gen bundle so this is 70 dollars the exact same price as what the next gen version of the games will cost however this is just the PS4 game, and it's the Xbox One game. But whenever you buy this version of the game, you get all these same pre-order, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. But what you get here is you get the PS5 version of the game with no extra cost. You're not getting the PS4 version on the PS5. You're getting the PS5 version when the PS5 comes out in a digital download. So for paying an extra 10 bucks now, if you know for sure you're going to be playing this game on release on current gen that means ps4 xbox one and you also know whenever the next gen consoles come out you're going to want the next gen version of the game 
buy this version of the game. Bite the bullet on the 10 extra bucks right now if you know for sure that you will want the next gen version of the game and if you're going to be playing the current gen version of the game right now. So that is basically what this version of it is for. It's the same cost as buying the next gen version. So the bad thing is what can happen here is if you buy the standard edition on your PS4 and you want to play the next gen version on your PS5, what you will have to do is pay 70 bucks to buy a $70 version of the game. Or you can get last gen or current gen, I guess, whenever the PS5 comes about, PS4 will be considered last gen. If you want to get both versions of the game, the PS5 version and the PS4 version on both consoles, you need to buy the cross gen bundle. What it will do is give you that digital download when the PS5 comes out and give you the PS5 version of the game or the Xbox Series X version of the game. It gives you the next gen version of the game. It's not just a backwards compatible PS4 or Xbox One version, it is a full fledged updated version of the game to utilize that PS5 hardware and that Xbox Series X hardware. It will be a better version of the game. So, biting the bullet on the 10 extra bucks right now isn't too bad. Also, considering that this game does not have season passes, it's like Warzone will more than likely be a battle pass. To where you really don't have to worry about things like buying extra DLC, more season pass, stuff like that. You could buy the $70 version of the game, get all the game's maps, all the game's guns, no problem. You'll be losing out on some cosmetics because you didn't buy the battle pass, but maybe that's not something you really want to worry about yet. And to be in fact, we don't know what's going to be in the battle passes, so maybe it's not a bad idea to not even worry about the battle passes just yet. Maybe just worrying about what gen you want the game to be on. If you know, you're like, hey... I'm going to be a PS4 guy for probably the next couple of years, maybe just buy the standard version of the game and then maybe wait later down the line for buying it on the PS5 version, maybe mark down or something like that or, or you know, maybe a battle pass bundle with it. That's what you should do. But if you know for sure you're going to be playing both versions and you want both better versions on the next gen, the cross gen bundle is the one for you. Don't end up messing up and buying this version. And then when the PS5 comes out, buy another $70 version for the game. Just buy a $70 version now, bite the bullet on the 10 extra bucks, and get them both. Uh, I'm going to stop repeating myself on this. I think I've made this clear. <laughs> anyway, we have the $90 Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Ultimate Edition. So this is the beefy one. This is the big one that is going to be included in this game. And once again, this version, the Ultimate version, also has the same effect that the cross-gen version of the game has where it gives you the better version the ps5 version of the game at launch so that's something good to keep in mind that if you want to you know spend an extra bit of money to get some better content you're going to be getting all extra content plus you're going to be then getting the next gen version of the game when it also comes out so this version is the ultimate version you're getting the early access to the beta you're getting the ps5 version whenever it launches you're getting the ps4 version because it's the ps4 version but you get that ps5 version whenever it launches because this is you know technically an upgrade past the cross-gen bundle but what you also get for this version it includes the land sea and air pack three operator skins three vehicle skins three weapon blueprints which i imagine all of these are going to be things in the um, game probably in multiplayer some of them and then probably in warzone you know black ops cold wars version of warzone anyway and what also is included <clears throat> is the battle pass uh bundle so you're going to be getting that first battle pass for free plus 20 tier skips if you guys have played modern warfare you know that the battle pass sometimes gives you you know like ten dollars to buy the battle pass but if you spend like fifteen dollars or like twenty dollars they give you an extra boost they give you 20 tiers into that current battle pass so you only have to do 80 levels instead of having to do all 100 levels within that battle pass you're already skipped through an extra 20 so by buying this ultimate version of the game you're getting some extra land sea air stuff more operators weapon skins blueprints stuff like that and then you're going to be getting 20 levels and all you know and access to the battle pass first 20 levels into the battle pass you're getting that same confrontation pack which is i think just a pre-order kind of thing but basically what you're getting here for the ultimate edition what the extra pricing is going to be is going to be getting basically that first battle pass and some more vehicles operators stuff like that just extra cosmetic goodies and access to that battle pass but it's not just access to it it's the technically better version where you're already 20 tiers in so this would actually technically have you further into the battle pass than any other version of the game will have you in for it for 90 bucks so that's kind of what we're seeing here guys so 
let's just do a quick little recap here. So $60, $70 for base games of this game, current gen and next gen. The standard version comes with you know, early access to the beta, stuff like that. Even the last gen versions or the current gen versions that we're dealing with right now will be backwards compatible. If that's not a big deal for you, you don't really mind having the upgrade. To be fair, we don't even know what the next gen versions of the games are going to be like or how much better they're even going to be. Or you could spend $70 and get both versions, the current gen and next gen version of the game for just an extra $10. Don't lose out, don't mess up. If you want both versions, both gens, go ahead and bite the 10 extra dollars and get the cross-gen bundle of this game. That's the one you wanna go for. And then we have the Ultimate Edition, which has, includes everything, all the pre-order stuff, all the beta stuff, everything else, the cross-gen PS5 versions, blah, 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 that is included in this version, but you also get more extra cosmetics, three operator skins, three vehicle skins, three weapon skins, and you get access to the Battle Pass and a 20-tier skip included to that first battle pass you will be further than anyone else can be at launch because literally everybody will be 20 levels behind you technically within the battle pass i'm not paid by call of duty or treyarch or activision at all i just want to be 100 percent clear at getting you the biggest bang for your buck giving you the right version of the game that you want to have so i think with this analysis and everything said i think that has concluded all the information about this game however i'm sure there is going to be a even bigger version of this game probably one towards 100 to 120 maybe 50 dollars that's going to include something else typically they only release these versions the like digital ones ones where they don't really have anything physical i would be sure that down the line given maybe another month or two i think we'll end up seeing a actual physical collector's edition which i'll probably make a video down the line so subscribe for that and i will have that video out to you whenever they release that call of duty always does that i wouldn't be surprised if that ends up happening i'd hold back on your pre-orders for now we are going to be getting a i believe september 8th or 9th we're going to be getting a multiplayer reveal so we can actually see gameplay of the game so before you buy any of this stuff or pre-order any of this stuff maybe wait till then see some gameplay and stuff first and then we can go ahead and then decide our pre-orders that's what i'm going to end up doing <clears throat> i'm probably going to get the cross-gen bundle because i'm <clears throat> sorry i know that for sure i'm going to be wanting to have them on both gens but um yeah like comment subscribe for more content i think i'm getting sick hopefully i don't die all of you stay well out there as always i'll see you in the next episode thank you so very much for watching